Hey everyone, welcome to Behind the Scenes. I'm Angela Wolf. If you've never been here before, say hi. I would love to have changed that whole video to having beautiful sun, which we do have that, but there's a lot of snow still <laughs> and it isn't melting very fast. So welcome everyone. If you are live on uh, Facebook or YouTube, hopefully we are live on both and you can leave comments, say hi. I see all of you in here. Hey everyone. And I have no idea how you were able to make comments even before I went live. It was like YouTube knew I was gonna go live and I didn't even schedule it. <laughs> they must have the Wolfpack schedule down pat. So how are, all, how are all of you? So today's not gonna be a super long show. I just have a few things to share with you. And we're getting ready for the Sewing Expo, or I should say Sew Expo, Virtual Sewing and Stitchery. I'm so bummed though. Because usually, and well, okay, it's a bittersweet. Yesterday, I was kind of mulling over the classes I'm teaching. Everything's virtual this year, remember? And I was thinking, you know, I would have spent the whole last week packing, getting everything ready for classes, running around. Not that that's bad, but, you know, it's very stressful. And I would have spent all day yesterday flying, and I would have woke I would have woken up this morning uh, in beautiful Puyallup. I'm sure it's beautiful, <laughs> as it always is. And I'd be like in a hotel, which isn't all bad. But I have to say, I'm really going to enjoy this whole week of this expo because I'm doing it from the comfort of my studio. I'm going to be doing some from the comfort of my home. So uh, we talked about this yesterday. Oh, thanks, Arnel. Uh, we talked about this yesterday, and I have some ideas for you. And yes, Arnell, I am wearing, I finished my top from last week. This is the new lacy. Really cute, right? This is the blue version. Super fun. And I finished this one. I made this one really long though, because I might add some ruching. And I just wanted something a little bit longer to go with my leggings. Um, the only other thing I might change on my next one is with this wild print is maybe add a little more black because it's more slimming that way. So anyways, I agree, Susan. I'm so happy. And by the way, I just got your email and I will be returning it right after. So hi to you and Steve. Uh, yesterday, we had so much fun talking about the Sew Expo that uh, the Fashion Sewing Club, we're going to have our own private um, get together to compare notes. But let for all of you, I'm going to share you a bunch of things today, but I just have to share this. It was our this week basically starting right now, is our two-year anniversary for Fashion Sewing Club. And this is what we did yesterday. Oh my goodness, did we have fun. That's just a little glimpse of everyone that we had on board. So we had a huge Zoom party and we're gonna be having a few more. In fact, we've decided that we have so much fun together that we're gonna do monthly Zoom parties that are just getting to know each other, showing off what you're sewing. Um, and every month we're doing something new in the club. So this will be a way that if you made the lacy one month, you can show that off. Or last month we made the cowl neck. That's always a fun one. So a lot of fun and a great group. So thanks everyone for having a fun time yesterday. So let's talk about the expo. I have it up here for you. Already, let's see if I can bring this up. Got like a few screens open to so make sure I open the right one, right? Okay, here we go. This is the expo. Now, I just walked my mother through this this morning. So in case you did not know, it's literally $6, like literally $6, that's it, to sign up to go to all of the free events. So usually, as Pam was saying, I should have, Pam, I should have had you on today because you are the expert at these events, especially this one. You always have it dialed in of what teachers are there and everything. Uh, but here we go. So you go to Sew Expo, all right? That's all you have to do is go there and click on, there's, okay, there's a few options. Virtual Expo, classes and events. Uh, you can sign up there. Here's a list of all the teachers and vendors. And so click on, tickets. Now I've already signed up for my $6. So I don't know what's going to show up here. <laughs> uh, you go to register now. Oh, hopefully you can still register. Oh, no, don't tell me that you can't register anymore. That would mean I just got in. Uh oh. 
Are you guys kidding? You can't register anymore? How am I going to help you register if you can't register anymore? I've already registered, though. Well, I guess I'm going to have to email them and ask them. But hopefully after yesterday's live show. Here you go. Let me just bring this up again. Tickets. Virtual Expo. Oh, I clicked. I must have clicked on tickets or something. Who knows? So click on the little arrow next to it. Okay. And here's the expo. And this is where uh, you get your tickets. Okay. Zero tickets now. I actually have a ticket, but it was on a different computer, so it doesn't remember me. And right here is the big one. Download the class catalog. But that's not even it. The class catalog is there, and that's a lot of the longer virtual classes. I'm only doing, I'm doing four classes that are, two of them are on the free stage. So by the way, you could do $6 and there'll be a free stage. But when I did this, I think, I think you have to download it though. There is an entire list. Let me bring this out. There's an entire list, three pages long that I printed off of all the stuff on the free demo stages. There's free demo stage. There's uh, vendors that are going to have little uh, tutorials. So if you've ever wanted to go to an expo, but you didn't want to travel, you didn't want to have the expense of going you know, someplace else and staying in a hotel for a few days, this is going to be your perfect opportunity for this. In fact, I'm very excited about it. I'm actually hoping that they do that <laughs> next year too, because I love being able to do this from the comfort of my studio. So all my teaching, I'm that's what I'm doing today is laying everything out. I go from table to table for my demos. That is so much easier than hauling a 70-pound suitcase. But I don't get to give you a hug. Not that we could do that during COVID anyways. <laughs> um, so you should be able to still get tickets. And if you can't, I'll email them real quick and make sure. Darlene, did you get a message like that too? Uh-oh. I better check with them because hopefully you'll still can sign up. That would be kind of bummer if you can't. Um, I'll find out though, and I'll let you guys know. I'll email her right when I'm finished, all right? Okay, so for those that you are going, make sure that you check out the free stuff because I actually made a list. So I'm teaching, and I'm teaching so for probably like six hours total. Mine are all shorter classes, and it can fit like, I think it said three to 500 people. So I'm sure it's not gonna sell out. And even if it does, they'll probably add more space. It's a Zoom meeting, right? So anybody could join. It's not like it's hands-on where you all have to be there with your machine. So anyways, this should be great. I will find out if it's closed and if not, uh, well, I'll let you know either way. I'll post it right on my Facebook page right when we're finished. And actually, I was just finishing up your newsletter for the week to let you know about these classes and a few new ones coming. I will not send the newsletter out until I hear back from Amy at the expo. Sound good? So you'll know. And if if it was wrong or there's a different link, I'll be sure to get that for you. But yeah, $6, that's it. So there was a ton of good classes in there, but I was actually more intrigued by the free demo stage. So if you're there's products you wanna learn about, stuff like that, it's a great place to go. So other than that, I have a few things I wanted to share with you because a lot of you have been sewing up a storm. And last week, I was busy making my mesh laundry bag and I didn't get to show half of what I wanted to show to show off what you've been doing. Okay, sound good? Hey, Marianne, I'm just reading your comments. Uh, Elizabeth, I will definitely post the link. I could uh, put you guys on hold and email her during the live show if you want. I don't know if I'll hear back that quick, but I will I will actually call there because I walked my mom through this this morning and she was able to sign up just fine. So let me just see. Actually, while I'm on this page. Yeah, it says event closed. OK, so what I would do, let me bring my this screen back up. If you haven't signed up and you want to sign up, and they might kill me for this, but not literally, but um, when you click on here and it says, says register now, the event is closed, you know what I would do? I would click contact us and email them, or I believe there's a phone number on here. Let's see where that is. Somewhere on here. I, maybe it was on the front page because my mom actually talked to them. They helped her with her Zoom meeting. So you might just want to call. I know a lot of you have already signed up, but if for some reason you have not, I would email them and just say, you know, can I still buy a ticket to get in? 
All right, so here is, I had to pull this out. Claudia, oh my goodness, I haven't seen you in a while. And this pink is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely my favorite shade of pink for a top. In fact, I had one uh, years ago and it was like a furry, uh, soft. I honestly, I think I had it when I was like in eighth grade. A very similar style too, but I loved it and I wish I would have kept it. <laughs> I've never found the same fabric since, but I think that's a pretty close, uh, a very close rendition. So she made the ruche tee. I love the collar. Oh my gosh. And this one's gorgeous too. And I love how you didn't do the ruching and it just drapes. Gorgeous. That would actually be a really cute dress with uh, leggings. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Sandra. Hey, Patty, wants to know, are the classes recorded? Yeah, I believe they are, because I believe you can watch them for a period of time. I don't know if it was like, uh, I don't, I don't want to say, because, but yes, they are recorded. Oh, Mary says, register by the 28th. Okay, so you know what? I'll email them. You know technology, there's always a glitch. Always a glitch. Sorry, my nose is itching like crazy. And no, I didn't buy a cat. It's a new conversation piece, but I must be thinking about it and it's making my nose itch. Okay, guys, I will message them or you should message them if you haven't gotten in yet. Definitely. Okay, I have more. I have more show and tell for you. Because so many of you, okay, so it's the Angelo of Patterns group. But if you're working on something that I show in one of my live shows, like the mesh bag or the lips, Don, this was so fun. So here you go. Don finished all of her lips and she put little suckers sticking out the zippered bag. I cracked up. I showed this to Win. <laughs> he laughed so hard. So our little zippered bag, by the way, has gone way past Valentine's Day because I keep putting little notes in there of which none of them I have fulfilled yet. <laughs> but I keep putting little notes in there and I leave them on the countertop. So I keep putting a couple little chocolates. Um, he put some roses on there. It's going to be the funnest. The Valentine lips are going on for the whole year. So if you guys did the lips, you have to share a photo because it just it's so cute. <laughs> so thank you for that. I always have to come up with something cute for you guys. All right, and then we had Elaine that showed what she she made this entire top after taking the surging class, which by the way, those are all recorded too, so you can take those anytime. Isn't that cute? She said she didn't do the embroidery herself, but I think that's what she said. Except the embroidery, of course, but you could have after taking the embroidery class too. So again, all of my classes too are pre-recorded, they're live, and then you can take them anytime. Okay, here it is. Darlene, Darlene, this was gorgeous. So she made the Chloe Trench. Darlene, are you on here today? Because I have to say, this is so stinking cute. I agree, Connie. Oh, you guys are all talking about the lips. I agree. <laughs> They're so cute. I love it with the sucker sticking out. <laughs> okay, so this took the cake, and she had a beautiful bag that she made to go with it. Is that adorable or what? There's a close up. Okay, Darlene, you are gonna be styling and profiling because that is cool. And she even embroidered her initial on here. I love it. And I love your uh, wolf pack on your face. Proud member of the wolf pack. Very cute. So Darlene, that definitely. <laughs> yep, you can watch the replay. Uh, Jan, recommendations for a dress form. So that's a big topic. It just depends what you want to spend. You know that all my dress forms um, I buy from Joe, um, French European Inc. And he's actually has some classes. And I believe he has some free ones at the expo as well. So you might want to check that. And he always has good deals during the shows. He usually gives <laughs> the Wolfpack a good deal too. Don't forget about that. So that's one option, but there's, you know, it just depends what you want to spend. If you're going like just a beginner, beginner, and just want to spend like a hundred bucks, that's a whole different thing, but you won't regret it if you get one of his. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm reading your comments. You guys are so funny. All right, so I have more. There's more to share. And then I have to go back to work because I have to get ready for, um, not back to work, I am at work, but I have to go back and get everything ready for my classes. I'm finishing up some very important things for you guys. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I agree, Linda. All right, Janet. I met, you showed up yesterday for the live and I think I just finished talking about you. So, and I'm not sure if you were at work. Darlene, I had to crack up because you were at work and I was just getting ready to say, are you at work? And then you were gone. <laughs> okay, so Janet, this is adorable. She did the call neck. So this is something that we actually draped in the Fashion Sewing Club. We didn't drape, we did both. First, I showed you how to take a regular t-shirt pattern, which we use the rouge tee pattern and drape this call neck. And then I showed how to drape it on a dress form. So that was like our whole month long lesson. We do these every week and everyone's version turned out so different, but I love this color on you. Um, I've met, for those of you who don't know, I met Janet cause she was here for the pants class and I know your complexion and I know your eyes and that color has to pop on you. So great, great job, great job. So, hey Mary, well, if you're here right now, you are part of the Wolf Pack, yeah. Now, if you want to join the Fashion Sewing Club, that's, uh, I think, right here. You just go there. Fashion Sewing Club is um, where we do our weekly live Q&As and lessons and stuff like that. It's a website that has over, we just figured it out, over 240 videos in there. Trust me, you can binge watch for days. So, but we'd love to have you. Oh, I agree. I agree. That was a great trench coat. <laughs> That's what Susan said. If you're here, you're part of the Wolf Pack. Yeah, somebody said, how do I be part? And you are. If you're here watching the live show on Wednesdays, you are part of the Wolf Pack, technically. Now, by the way, there are other places you can go. If I put my website, I think it's just my website I have below, AngelaWolf.com. And don't forget that I put a whole new page on there now that says classes and events. So those of you that want to join live classes, there's links. And those of you that want to watch just join online classes that aren't live. There's links on there and my entire live schedule, which if you look at it, you'll understand why I'm a little busy. I'm because there's a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, they do, Mary Stevens. They do come in plus size patterns. Yep. Great to see you, Linda. Hi, Karina. I agree with Susan. Yep. Oh, so Mary, just click on that website down below and right at the top, I think I actually have it right here so you can see. Oh, thanks, Julie. Julie, Julie, thank you. Amy says the system is overloaded. That means everybody's going. So did the whole wolf pack go on there at the same time? <laughs> Okay, Julie, we'll quit doing it for now. The Wolf Pack, you better wait till like a little bit later today to go on there. This is what happens. But Julie, thank you for letting us know. Oh, thanks, Trisha. By the way, I haven't asked lately. I hope your husband is doing well. Okay, so here's the website. For those of you, this is what I, so go to AngelaWolf.com. If you want to join the Fashion Sewing Club, that's right here. Or if you're a member and you forget where to go. And up here, click on classes and events right there. And after you scroll down the huge picture, which I'll figure out how to make that smaller one of these days, here's surging 101, 102, uh, which 101 has been taped live already, but now you can watch the replay. Embroidery 101, that's already been taped live, but now you can catch the replay. I don't have 102 up here yet, but it is on the website. So, um, and then here's the whole schedule. That's just February. <laughs> if you want to subscribe to the newsletter, put your email in right here where it says email and hit subscribe because I'm sending one out this afternoon. And let's see what else is on here. I think if you click here, yeah, that will take you to Surging 101. So you can take the replay of that. But if you click on the Academy button up here, that takes you to all of the live classes. So you got Serger 101, Embroidery 101 um, right there. Now there's another place too, and I, I have to check where my link is on there. 
Maybe it's here. Because there's two places to look for classes. Nope, that's not it. I'll make sure I double check that link because there's two places where you can go. So there's, um, and I'll go check it this afternoon. So when you go to the, the classes page, I'll put one link right here that says virtual live classes because it's a whole different website. And I'll show you what it looks like just so you know what you're looking for. I know three places, but it's actually really two places. So the live classes that just find I find it really easy to do them on a different platform and then I drop them into the academy. So I know it's two places to go, but once you get used to it, it'll be very easy. So here, this is what it looks like when you go there. There you go. And these are past events but you really wanna look at the upcoming events if you wanna join them live. And you just click on them and that's it. All right, let's see what else, March 19th. What's March 19th? Oh yeah, thanks Susan. <laughs> March 19th is the Embroidery 102 class, Surging 102 is March 5th. And watch closely because there's a cover stitch class coming up here shortly too. Uh, that'll be a specific class on its own. And um, that's because it's a specific machine. So I'm actually recording that one right now. So that one will not be totally live. It will actually be an online class because there's a lot of technicalities that I want to show you. And 90 minutes isn't enough for that one. So you'll keep an eye out for that. Hey, Jackie. Oh, Amy's going to kill me. So thank you guys for, um, but anyways, what I'll do then, I have an idea. Since they are overloaded right now, you'll have to sign up just, you know, maybe this afternoon, try again. And what I'll do is, uh, let's see, our Fashion Sewing Club, we have a live Zoom at three o'clock, but I will post my free ones so you know where they are. And I'll do that on the Facebook page. So if you guys are coming or if you're looking for extra classes, you'll know. Now, I'd love to know what classes you're taking, too. Uh, is there a code for Embroidery 102 discount? There is, Kathy. So the Fashion Sewing Club, they have their own code in there, in their website. And I will make sure I add that to the newsletter today. Sound good? Because I don't know it by heart. Okie doke. Okay. <laughs> hey, Tammy. I agree. The cow looked great. Bye, Susan. Have a wonderful day. All right. I have just a few more show and tells for you, and then I'm going to let you go because I have to go finish working. Let's see. Where was this? It was really cute. Oh, <laughs> Joan, I have to say, I had to do a double take because I was like, what is this? What a brilliant concoction. She did not have enough thread, and she wanted to use her cover stitch. <laughs> so she put two bobbins. I have no idea where you even got that contraption, but I have to say that's awesome. It looks like a, I don't know, Joan, what is that? I mean, it looks like two spools of, well, actually, they look like two spools from Fishing Line. And then she put two bobbins. She has clips on. I mean, this was the best photo of the week. And I just have to say, Joan Bush, you are awesome. <laughs> Made my day. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Okay. So that definitely took the cake. <laughs> I know. I couldn't resist. Oh, and then this is the one I forgot last week. How did I forget this, Babette? The Rouge Tea in a Crushed Velvet. I hung up last week and I was like, oh, gosh, how did I miss this? I love this photo and I love this top. Absolutely gorgeous, great color on you. And I love the scenery. So that was another beautiful one. So in case it was a coffee lid cover, that's what it was. Ah, oh, I agree, very inventive gal. And Mary Enos, thank you for sending me photos of what you've been working on too. Okay, so anyways, those were some of the great photos that you missed this week. And this is all in the Angel of Patterns group, which is free to anyone. The Fashion Sewing Club, you know, there's a membership fee, very minimal. And if you shop, you well over pay for your fee. But if you want to just have free 
go to Angela of Patterns and join us because there's a ton of free um, stuff in there. But also, um, I love seeing what you're working on. So, well, I'm keeping it brief today. Today was show and tell. <laughs> And now that we can't uh, get into the website yet, make sure you sign up and I will pop into the Angel of Patterns group and we have our Fashion Sewing Club Zoom on Saturday. I think it's Saturday at 3 p.m. to go over what we're talking. Anything else, guys? Any questions for me before I roll? It's tops from cups. Oh, really? Let me go back to like drinking cups. <laughs> I agree, Linda. All right, let me go back. I got to see this. So you're you're saying that this is cups from like drinking, like uh, like a Yeti cup or something. Oh my gosh, you're right. Brilliant. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Gives a whole new meaning to reusable. I think that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. All right, so sorry that I'm brief, but I will see you all this week, actually all week long, because if you're going to the show, I'll see you there. And I'm working on a couple of really fun things that I can't share with you yet, but it will be there soon, hopefully by Sunday. In the meantime, have a great week. Happy sewing. Now tomorrow, don't forget, at noon Eastern Standard Time, I will be live. Let's see, who am I live with tomorrow? A a fabulous brother educator. I'll bring this up. Thursday is with, oh, this is going to be a good one. Hexagon sashing with Kathy Gandy. So those of you that have never tried that, it is so cool. I have one sample of one that I did for the Luminaire Masterclass, but it is the coolest thing ever. So if you want to get to know how to use your Luminaire, this is going to be a good one. Actually, I think there's little pieces of this on the um, previous machines too. So you might you might be signed up. Uh, Marty, Surging 101, can we still sign up? Oh, yeah, yeah. So now you just go to the Academy, academy.angelawolf.com, Marty, and the class is there. And actually, what happens is after I do it live, then it goes into a full class form and then I add a PDF file if there's PDF files and I might add a few more videos in there that might help you as well which that's that case so there's actually a couple extra things in there I'd love to have you join and there's coupon codes Marty uh, in the fashion sewing club don't forget about those uh Connie any vendors you suggest checking out at the expo so everyone let's help Connie um I haven't even looked at the list I just printed it off so let me just well, let's see if we can even get in there. There's so many good ones. So let's see. So, so English knit fabrics. That would be a good one. They have beautiful fabrics. Um, you guys leave some comments for her, for Connie. Oh, Mary says go to pineapple fabrics. Yes. Any others? What I would do is when you sign up on that screen, print your entire screen that comes up. And I think, yeah, see, I was at home when I did this, or I, I didn't bring it here. I left it at home. I ran to work to do some things to come here live with you, and I'm going back home to work on um, all of the PDF files I'm working on for classes. So. When you register, just print that whole list off. And there should be a list on there. Let me just see if if there is. Because there are some great ones. Hey, Darlene, I'll check that. And by the way, Darlene, I have to laugh because you said you were at work yesterday during our Zoom. And I was just getting ready to say, because I saw you typing away, Darlene, are you at work? And then you disappeared. <laughs> oh, gosh. Can you, we download the list before jumping in for the expo? Um, let me look. I'll bring it up right now. So teachers and vendors. Here's the vendors, 2021 vendors. So this tells you all of the vendors. Now, I don't know if this will tell you. Oh, yeah. So here, guys, this is how it works. So because it's virtual, what you'll it tells you like what time. I didn't mean to add the like in there. It's really what time. 
Saturday, 2 to 3, Sunday, 10 to 11. Now, this is all Pacific time, by the way, over here. So make sure you get it right for your calendar. For me, if I show up late for class, somebody has to text me, <laughs> actually, because I'm going to be so confused at what time it is. All right. So here's the booth. You can click on the link for the person. Uh, you can also search for topic right here, which I think that's awesome. And look at all these. And you can see what time they're going to be on the, their stage. So this is each vendor section has a free stage. So like, for example, Clover, we are like, why would I go for that? Well, I'll tell you what, I met the gentleman who I'm not sure if he owns it. I think he actually owns it. Uh, very nice man. And he's going to be doing a couple of things on the demo stage. So Clover has a ton of different things that are useful for sewing. So that might be a great, great one. So you might want to check that. Uh, Joe's in there. Louise Cutting is in there. Dana Marie, she's got cute stuff. Fit for art patterns. So there's a ton of stuff. So just go on there and then look at one out of 53. So there's 53 in there. Make sense? Yep, I agree. Go see Joe in there too. I think he, I think I saw that he has like a 45 minute one on dress forms too, which looks great. Oh, great to see you, Lorraine. And I loved your backdrop yesterday. Debbie. So if we can't make a class, we can still watch it. I think so. But you, you'll want to double check because it'll tell you when you go to sign up. But I don't want to say anything. Uh, yep, Mary, quality sewing. And actually, uh, one of our brother bre brother educators is there teaching, and I saw all of her classes are full. Um, she's showing how to do quilt broidery, which we all love. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure she'll be using the Luminaire, but I, you, they have waiting lists. Phyllis, uh, vendor presentations are available for 30 days. Hey, thank you, Phyllis, because you had the best resources yesterday, too. So thank you. Yeah, I do too. She's great. You're welcome. I think that's everything. Yep, 53 vendors. Oh, Karen, that's cute. And I didn't look, let's see. There's a couple that I was surprised not to see on here, but not, you know, it's kind of difficult. If you don't have access to do like a live stream, how are you going to do a vendor market, you know, or if you haven't done it, you're not comfortable with it. So that could be a reason too. Oh, there's Joe, French European Inc. He's going to be on Thursday at 11 to 12 and Friday 1 to 2. And don't forget, if you pay the $6, um, I'm on the free stage is how to sew tips for sewing jeans, which many of you have seen already. But if you just want to join, um, it's on there. And then here's a list of virtual classes. Click on that and you can scroll down and there's one needle, uh, which is 45 minutes. Those are six dollars. Three needles are two and a half hours. Those are 30. A lot of those were full, though. And the four needles I saw, those are 50. Those are uh, really full. So I think that those are limited in size, really limited. And then the free stage, which isn't bad either. <laughs> hey, Deborah, great to see you. I like that. Okay, so Adele, what do you have? Is this going to be the only show? Will there be other cities who will host? So Adele, this is the only uh, sewing and virtual, this is the only sewing expo that's from Puyallup. This is the usual show that is um, every year in Puyallup. It's the biggest, I would say, fashion sewing show ever. Now you have the original sewing expo and those are in different towns throughout you know, the United States. I think those are picking back up uh, despite, you know, they had to obviously shut down for a while for COVID, but I saw, I think they're gonna be in Atlanta in March and I heard Florida. Um, I don't usually go to those. Uh, I have been to those, though, but I don't have plans on going to those this year. Uh, so this is it. This is it for this one. And we'll see what they do for next year. 
making sure I'm not missing your questions. How do you sign up for my newsletter? So Pamela, go to AngelaWolf.com, which is scrolling across the bottom, and you click on homepage, or I'm, I'm on the classes page, so let me just click on the home, maybe. Internet might be a little slow today. It's getting there. Okay, so go to AngelaWolf.com. Uh, that's the Fashion Sewing Club here. And if you scroll down just a little bit, put your email, first name, last name, and subscribe. That's it. That's how easy. So AngelaWolf.com. And that newsletter is about half finished. I'll add the extra things that you wanted to. So <laughs> Joanna, I'm glad you're not driving if you're watching it from your car. Say hi to your hubby. <laughs> that's usually what I'm doing. Wind drives and I'm always watching stuff. So, oh, Mary, uh, they're going to do Cleveland in July. Okay, well, that's good to know. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Sally Tomato has great cork fabric, and she's got cute projects, too. Yeah. Uh, well, hopefully we all get back to somewhat being able to go to some of these shows. All right, that's it. That's a wrap. I have to get back to work. Um, I'm glad you liked my top. I did have time to finish that today. So make sure I, if you're sewing this, I got to see it. And don't forget, like this has, you know, I did black here. Or you can do lace. It's the lacy pattern. And I love to see what you're working on. So be sure to, be sure to share it. All right, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow at noon if you're around. All right. Bye.